It's a lightweight bout between Anthony Showtime Pettis and one of the greatest featherweights of all time, Jose Aldo. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both of our fighters are 29. Pettis is three inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he will be. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now. Go back to your corner. Anthony Pettis, Jose Aldo. Are you ready? Are you ready? And here we go. Five, five minute rounds. White trunks for Aldo, black trunks for Pettis. Anthony Pettis has some of the fastest, most dynamic kicks in all of mixed martial arts. Look out for those. Big front kick, nice nicely front done. Kick. Oh, that's a good shot, shot right there. Very good shot. here, Mike, really respecting each other's abilities. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. Oh, oh big right, right hand. That right hand. In the full guard here. Big right shot hand. with the right. Back up to his feet. Beautiful hook. Vicious knee. Oh, that one hurt him. Oh, what an exchange. Nice takedown. He's got half guard. Transitions to full guard. Pettis got tagged by that right. Back on their feet. Man, they love showtime. And you can hear it from the crowd. Nice. Nicely done. And he stuffs that takedown attack. Both men landing in that exchange. Joe, that's a good hook right there. That's going to do some damage. Joe, look for him to try to connect with that hook. Again. There it is again. Look at that, right to the temple. 
Trying to take him down again. Joni takes him down again, which is a bit surprising when you look at the skills possessed from his opponent from the bottom. He doesn't want to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It looks like he will continue to use his wrestling. Yeah, no doubt about that one. Going for a choke here. He escapes the rear naked choke. Scramble and go. Scramble and go. Beautiful sweep. And back up again. We just got out of the way. Oh, flying knee. Our first round is in the books. Here we see a beautiful takedown. And here's another perfectly executed takedown. And here is another very nice takedown. You can really see how awesome that round was by these highlights. Jenny, getting a set for round two. Two. Nice hook. Just misses with the left. I think he's seeing double out of that right arm, Mike. Oh, he got tagged oh. there. Good connection by both men. Nice block of that headshot. Check out the significant strike line. Clean hook. And they clinch here. They battle in the clinch, looking for a dominant position. It wouldn't be surprising if he looks for another takedown here. Nice right hand. Hard inside leg kick. He hurt him with that hook. Wow. Oh, he is just teeing off here. Oh. Oh, oh big right hand. Oh, that caught him. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. done. He transitions into north-south. Aldo goes back to north-south. Right back to his feet. Under two minutes now. Damage. Big shots. Hard shot from the clinch. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Pettis with the hook. Nice knee to the body. And they break free. Huge right hand. hand. Wow. Big shot. Oh, that's a big powerful elbow. elbow. This could be it. Big shot. Good combinations. Big straight punch. Vicious combinations. 20 on the clock. That's a big hook. Hurt him with that Superman punch. Superman punch. They have fought for 10 minutes. That's the end of round number two. Ready? Round 
three. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big Flying trouble when that round ended. shots. Huge leg kick. Hard hook. Both men scoring points here. There he goes with a one-two. Oh, and with a right hand. shot. And again. How good is this? the hook from the clinch. They split. Big hook. Man, he's really mixing things up nicely, isn't he? He's being unpredictable, that's for sure, and that is important. Pettis up again. 45 seconds on the clock. He blocks that hook. Just get out of the way. Oh, he got clipped. Just 10 seconds remain in round three. What a huge round! And the round comes to an end. Anthony Pettis is lucky to get out of that round. That was a huge knockdown. Very lucky. That was very close to being stopped. He looked like he was in big trouble. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. Let's see it again. And here we see it from a different angle. The beautiful Ariani gets a set for round number four. Shot from the bottom. Oh, oh big the right, right hand. 
Hurt him with that right. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Oh, he went for the rear naked choke. Get out of there. Come on. He pops out of the rear naked choke. And he misses. Great job blocking the huge elbow. Wow. What a back and forth exchange. Tennis with the one two that scores. He's able to block the punch. Absolutely brutal kick to the body by Pettis. He clipped him. Hit him with the Superman punch. Flying Beautiful hook. Oh, he's punishing the body from the top. In the half guard. He's in full guard. He's back up to his feet. Final minute of round four. He just blocked a very heavy elbow. That's a hard inside leg kick. Very nice yeah. kicks. They have fought for 20 minutes. That is the end of round number four. You gotta set up these shots. You just can't go out there and telegraph the shots. They're never gonna work, right? You gotta set up these takedowns with punches. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. Here's a huge punch that stuns. And there you see some beautiful judo technique. And here we see a devastating throw. Amazing highlights from that round. The beautiful Ariani. You ready? You ready? Five minutes left in the fight. on the right hand for the victory. And with the official decision, and gentlemen, here is Bruce Buffer. Has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number five. And the winner by knockout, Jose Aldo Jr. Jose Aldo wins by knockout.